this is Jacoby, American missionary to Ukraine. I'm speaking to you at a cafe here in, uh, in the promenade in Odessa. It's also known as the Pearl by the Black Sea. Odessans are known for loving their city. And uh, there's many reasons why. If we come here, um, you'll notice a lot of uh, beautiful architecture and history influenced by European countries. It's been a cosmopolitan city since it was born, uh, slightly after the birth of America. It was uh, formerly a Turkish, Turkish uh, palace that was uh, taken over by a Russian army headed uh, by Catherine the Great and some other generals from uh, Spain and France. And uh, anyhow, ever since then, it's had a largely um, diverse culture. For 200 of those years, it was, or for 70 of those 200 years, it was ruled by communist rule. And just in 1991, that rule was dissolved. In the early 1900s, there was 30 to 40 percent Jews here. However, throughout the 1900s, uh, due to different persecutions and other things, the Jews uh, slowly um, returned to Jerusalem or Palestine, where many of them now are. There are very few Jews left here. However, they left a huge impression on the culture here in Odessa, particularly. And uh, Odessans have a unique dialect of Russian, which to the rest of Russia and Ukraine is considered humorous, uh, part witty, part uh, gangster, uh, because of different uh, Jewish witticisms or influence and Ukrainian influences on different words and phrases in their particular Russian dialect. So, it has not been a communist country for about 20 years now, and uh, so people are free to practice their religions here and their faith. However, uh, communism definitely left its dent in the culture here. Most of the people live in flats, like the ones you see behind me, to my left. Um, which was instituted by communist rule and people back then they didn't work hard to make a living or to buy a house they waited in, on a waiting list to acquire so people here have a different mentality for um, how to acquire things whereas in the west we think you can get to where you're going by working hard or, or um, applying yourself or, or studying or, pursuing things ambitiously, where here there's less of an individualistic mindset. Um, however, things are, are slowly changing here. Um, people see, pe people, see uh, people here who have things or who are rich, um, they tend to think, oh, they had the right connections or they made the right bribes or whatever. So, one thing that's common about the culture here is um, cheating, bribes, or lying to get whatever it is you want. Um, with the people here not having a lot in the past, and now there's more and more of an influence from the West of capitalism and consumerism, mentalities are changing, and not necessarily for the good. While a large percentage of the country is considered orthodox in faith, um, very few of those are sincere practitioners. It's more of a tradition or honorary um, uh, practice that people go to church a couple times a year. So you'll have a lot of atheists or probably a lot of people who don't know what they believe. Only one to three percent 
of the people here are considered Protestants. A large percentage of those are called Baptists, and what we think of as Baptists in America is uh, very different from what we think of as the Baptists in Ukraine. The Baptists here tend to be very controlling. Um, they have the gospel wrong in subtle ways, and so it's borderline. Um, or they tend to be very controlling, and so it's borderline cultish in a way. Anyhow, a um, very small percentage, minority here, are Protestant Christian. And so, as you can tell, there is a tremendous need here for, for the gospel, for Christian missionaries, as, as you have much of a postmodernism mindset, but you have people that are shifty and can't be trusted, and um, who don't trust very few people themselves. They're not easily impressed by anyone. And though being uh, coming across as uh, a bit gruff or rough outwardly, inside can be very hospitable, um, very kind, and uh, very easy to make friends with if you understand the culture. Um, the Odessa city here is quite beautiful, quite charming, and uh, quite romantic in its own right. I encourage you uh, to pray that the gospel would go forth here, to consider visiting here, to come and check it out for yourself. And in the future, I hope to tell you a lot more things about what God is doing here in this wonderful city. Please pray about uh, seriously being a part of the work that God is doing. Thank you for your time. Have a great